I am so surprised a buffet does this. I cannot believe a buffet does this. Huh, oh. Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to review Manchester's newest all-you-can-eat buffet. These guys are based in Manchester's Cheatham Hill, which is where I am now. I'm actually really, really close to the buffet. In my downtime, I love buffets. However, on this channel, I've never covered one. I think this is the first buffet that I've ever covered on my channel. I had a load in mind and then COVID hit and then I just couldn't do it. So super excited to get the ball rolling on the buffets, guys. So we're going to start with Tabak. Let's make our way there now. Right guys, so as you get closer to Tesco, what you gotta do guys, you just gotta turn down there and it's right at the end that you may just about be able to see the sign. Right, so here we go guys, to bark. This is the buffet that I'm gonna be reviewing today. Hey guys, so I'm inside, I've sat down. What I'm gonna do is a little bit different to obviously a normal review because this place isn't eat as much as you like buffet rather than a standard place where you'll have like, like a menu when you look through and you order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you around. Just before I do that, one thing that's pretty cool is some of the stuff is already out there, but the starters, as customers come in, they make the starters fresh, which I think is a bit nice. Cause sometimes you go to a buffet and you sit down and when they put the stuff out fresh, you kind of feel like you've won the lottery. Starters are coming out fresh. As soon as they're ready, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you guys all of the food. So here we go guys, so it's a really, really nice place and lucky for me they're pretty quiet today so I can show you around and take my time. So you'd start uh, with your plates there um, and then actually we've got a little dessert -y section here but what we'll do is we'll look at some starters in the middle. I'm gonna get like a selection of kind of everything and show, uh, show you everything, see how it tastes. We've got some, ooh, some lamb nihari, hello. As you can see there guys, lamb nihari. I'm gonna try that. Oh, is that little pizza? little pizza there's um golcope there as well definitely gonna try some of that and then these starters are over here instead of showing you everything individually now i'm gonna pick up a few bits and bobs and take it back um oh that's oh masala fish that looks really really good we've got some chicken kebabs there as well some chicken tikka oh let's look at some oh wow chicken drumsticks guys there's actually a ton going on so i'm going to show you things sort of sporadically i'm going to make my first plate first and then it will go from there okay, there's so much going on there's so much i want to try so uh quickly i've got a couple of mocktails as well this one's got lychee in it this one's got orange i think that's an orange i'm going to try them in a second but i'm super excited for the food so let's go let's make our first plate let's go straight over to starters so do you know what yeah let's get a little spring roll oh these are like crispy potatoes. My mum actually makes these all the time. So that'd be a nice little comparison. Um, sorry guys, I've actually, <laughs> I've never filmed a buffet, so don't really know what I'm doing. Let's, ooh. Your boy is definitely getting some masala fish, one of my favorite dishes. And this just looks amazing. So that's definitely happening. Do you know what? We're feeling fancy. We've got the calories to play with. Let's get two and then, Let's move over here to the chicken kebabs. A little bit leaner than the lamb ones. And then I think I'm gonna try some of this chicken tikka. This looks good, it looks juicy. I'm not sure if my phone is focusing there. Looks super tasty. Go for some fries, why not? How is your boy for getting pizza? Now let's do it. Let's go sit down and start this review. I am ready though, I am ready. I've been to the gym, I've walked here, which is three miles. I've burnt a ton of calories. I've barely eaten today. I'm wearing stretchy pants as well. I am so ready for lots and lots of good food. I don't even know how many plates I'm gonna get through. I'm gonna aim for three mains and one dessert. That's what I'm aiming for. Let's see if I can do it. So far, the food looks really, really good. I'm loving the look of the chicken tikka. They've got good variety going as well. For the price, really, really good as well. Let's start actually with the spring rolls. The first thing I picked up, I think, let's dip into the chili, let's dip into the chutney. I was expecting like a cheap spring roll with like no filling, but that's got decent filling. Moving on now to the chicken tikka. This is such a good first plate of food, man. Let's dip it into the chutney and the chili. Soft, tender, good spice. The chili sauce got a good amount of kick to that, actually. I was quite liberal, the chili sauce, really good kick to it. Moving on now to these. My mum, I don't know what these are called, but my mum always makes these. Basically, it's like thin cuts of potato coated like a masala and deep fried. Always makes these delicious. I can't wait for the mains 
The karai looks really, really good. Oh, this is the Miami twist. This is delicious. This mocktail's nice. The other one, I think it's got lychee in it. It's called a Caribbean Cooler Mojito. I've missed buffet so much. I've missed having a plate and then having a million different types of thing on it. Let's go for pizza now. Not naming names, but this is better than a lot of pizza places that I've been to down cheat mail. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is just like a, like a chocolate kebab type thing. Mmm, it is. That's exactly what it is. What they do actually, if you do come in guys, her customer, they actually fresh make a couple of chops for you. They bring it to the table, which I think is a lovely touch. They've given me about 9,000, but <laughs> this, I think you get two per sort of person. So if there's like three of you, you'd get six for example, and they bring them to the table. I think that's a lovely touch, especially because it's included within the price. I'm so excited, man. Let's go for the chops. Ooh, they're hot. Like I said, they're made fresh. They're really, really hot actually. <laughs> Cannot go wrong with three lamb chops. What I would say is they've got a really, really good kick to them. Quite soft, but yeah. You get two for free, that is awesome. Come with like eight people, make sure those seven other people don't like it, and then you've got 16 chops to yourself. Let's try these little pieces of masala fish next. This again was in the starter section. Let's dip it into a little bit of chili and some chutney. Oh, actually, there's a couple of sauces here. There's a tamarind sauce, and there's like a mint sauce as well. I'm gonna dip it into there. I'm still kind of shocked that all of this is included in the price. I think that's actually fantastic it's a really nice piece of masala fish the tamarind sauce however is delicious chili sauce is good but guys let's move on let's move on mains are coming oh can't wait for mains quick interjection into the video regarding parking i'm not saying you should do this i'm not saying you should do this but this is very 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 close to tesco like just meters from tesco they've got a big car park there's always spaces there and it's free it's a tesco car park i'm not saying you should go there i'm not saying that but i'll leave the details for that car park in the description what they also do uh, if you're coming in is they actually give you gold copper so everyone gets a little plate of these they are actually out everything you need to make the gold copper is actually out so you can make them yourself but i think it's nice just a little bit of like way to serve it's nice when they come bring it to you so let's try it that is like the biggest burst of flavor ever if you haven't had gold copper before don't buy into it and like try and eat it in a few bites just put the whole thing in your mouth delicious massive burst of flavor do you know what give that a go don't think about what's inside. Put it in your mouth, eat it. Let me know what you think. Right, guys, so that's 1.5 plates down, let's say, because I only had one chop and one gold copper. But let's now move on to mains. I had these in Kashmir, actually. They look very much like um, numpare. I don't know if people know what that is, numpare. They look kind of like that. They're not that, but they look kind of similar. Was good. Let's get another one of them before we go on to mains. Let me just show you a shot of the food, guys, because these are the starters again. But look at the main. So uh, we've got some rice there, pilau rice, some biryani going on. We've got, ooh, that looks really good. I'm gonna have some of that, I think. There's some andi gosht. You guys know I love that. Some chicken halim. I've actually not had that for years. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a good amount of the veg options towards the end, and there's quite a lot of meat that side. So good variety. I think I'm gonna have to get some of this chicken, guys. It's just, I just think I'm gonna have to do it. And I think I'm the only person in the world that does not like biryani. It's just a personal thing, guys. It's a personal thing, don't attack me. So let's get some. Let's get one of your five a day, mate. Let's get some spinach, why not? Right, let's get ourselves back to the table. is looking pretty good if I may say so myself I feel like I've constructed that architecturally quite well I think it looks good I'm gonna show you guys shots of it I'm quite proud of that if this wasn't a review I would just be slapping stuff on the plate super messy but I think I've done a good job there thought I would try the rice and actually the naan generally I would just go for naan I wouldn't really eat rice and I, I don't like biryani again I think I'm the only Asian person in the world who doesn't like biryani but there you go let's go for the andi gosht That's pretty good. That's definitely one of the better Andes that I've had in a buffet. Generally buffets, just because of the business model they have, a lot of the time, they have to look at the bottom line. So maybe the Andes are 
the quality is not as high. Maybe the masalas are from a jar. Here, this actually tastes homemade. This actually tastes really, really good. So I think for the price that you pay, compared to the quality that you get, I think it's actually uh, really, really good. And also, the lifter in me appreciates the amount of meat you get there. The protein content is really, really high. Quick mention on prices. If you're over the age of 11, it's 13.95. And if you're under the age of 11, it's 7.95. Pricing seems very good, especially compared to some of the competitors in Manchester. For me, price is always essentially like an equation between like quality and price. Like they have to kind of marry up. So sometimes the things, you know, if the quality is higher, the price is higher. Essentially, it's kind of what I'm saying, but in an oddly complicated way. Let's now move on to the chicken. The chicken is definitely on the milder side. I'd say the lamb is a bit spicier. What I would do is I'd get one of the spicy curries like the lamb, get a little bit of spinach, and a bit of chicken, so you got a little bit of variety there. This is just good food at great pricing. I've missed buffets so much. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm actually gonna go on to the desserts because they've actually got some of my personal favorite. They have gajrela, they've got kheer, they've got gulab jamun. So these are some of my favorite desserts. If you've been following for a while, you know that I love Arpna desserts. So I'm really looking forward to trying those. Because if I'm being honest, a lot of those, if I was to get like gajrela and kheer and gulab jamun on like Cheatham Hill Road, it'd be like six, seven quid anyway. So with the price here, if it's good within that price, like, that's a good thing. Honestly guys, I'm having such a good time. I'm on my own. I'm in like the corner of the restaurant. I'm just having a ball. And what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna move on to desserts, right? This is what I mentioned earlier, it's got some gajarela. So we are 100% gonna try some of this. And then, uh, sweet rice. Oh, my mum always makes this. I've not actually had it in a restaurant in a very long time. So we're gonna try some of that. And also, another one of my favorites guys, we're gonna go over to the key. Let's pop that on there and then, Okay, I don't even know. I'll keep it real, guys. I don't know what that is, but it looks... Do you know what? I'm confident. Let's get two. It looks good. Let's... It looks good. I'm not getting three. I'm that confident. But I think I can eat two. And, uh, yeah. Oh. They look so... Oh, I missed them. I missed them. I'll come back. I'll come back. Whoever had the idea make carrots sweet and as a dessert genius i love gajela like ah oh, it's one of my favorite desserts man so good so good let's try these little pastry chocolatey type things i have honestly no idea what this is but i'm gonna try it you know that it's like a chewy soft warm bread chocolate around it i'm not totally sure what that is i might get some more though Seriously perplexed as to what that I just ate, but really good, really good. I think I'm gonna get some more. What are people's thoughts on Glubbies? I like them. I totally appreciate that they're super heavy. Certainly, I love them. Whenever you get like a mate box, tell me that's the one that you look for. It is, it is. Glubbies are just the best, man. These are like soft. They're actually lighter than I expected. Very, very easy to eat. Like really, really sweet, really sweet. Perfect after a really spicy meal. Oh, actually, I've just been made aware these guys do daily specials and today just happens to be purely a coincidence. They've got one of my favorite dishes. So they've actually got a 14 hour smoked brisket. So they're gonna bring that out. Listen, I will always have room for brisket. Even though I'm full, it's coming out now. So stick around, let's see what it is. Let's, because I've not, yeah, I didn't, I really did not expect, I really did not expect a 14 hour smoked brisket here. So within the price as well, really looking forward to it coming out any second so stick around let's see how it is I'm gonna have a little bit of mango lassi whilst that brisket actually comes out okay so brisket is here and it looks 10 10 i am so surprised a buffet does this i cannot believe a buffet does this this is an absolute first for me this is like huh, oh okay so it's a 14 hour cooked brisket massive portion may i say as well on top of that you've got some onion gravy but anyway what really matters is how it tastes so let's tuck into it i hope that didn't sound patronizing i just don't expect something so technical in a buffet it's just one of those things but let's give it a go smoked really well the gravy's got a really strong flavor i think what they do is probably use the juices from the beef the stock and actually make that gravy i think that's probably how they get such a strong body of flavor 100 percent get the brisket if you come in to do daily special so they don't obviously do it every day ask whatever you do ask if they have the brisket they only have a certain amount and once it's gone it's gone so the first thing you want to do when you come in is ask for 
ask for the brisket first. Too good to miss out on. It's such a rarity, especially in the halal scene. You gotta try it. Alright guys, so that is my review. As you can see, I've literally just popped outside, but I've got to give you my final thoughts immediately. Because I really, really enjoyed it in there. I think for the price, for what you get, I don't really think you can go wrong with that. $13.95 is a bargain with brisket and lamb chops and proper meat and gajarela. Oh yeah, so actually I don't need to run through everything because you saw it all already because you lovely people I stayed all the way by to the end. <laughs> But uh, yeah, super delicious. Also, had a chat with the guy, super friendly. He's let me do this thing like a, a discount code. From now, from when the video goes live, sorry, I know the sun's just hit me. From the video goes live until the 1st of July, if you say HFTG10, you'll get 10% off the bill. And also, being a bit sneaky, see where I've just walked, and I've mentioned that car park earlier. If I turn around, that's how close it is. It's literally super close. There shouldn't be any cuts in this video. So it's like 15 second walk and takes you to Tesco car park. You can park for three hours for free. But anyway, guys, that does take me to the end of my video. Somewhere on the screen, you'll see like a box for another video. Click on that and like that one as well as this one. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Bye, 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 bye.